I've been involved in the training for almost 11 years in April. It will be 11 years that I did the 12 empowerments. And at that point I was 28 and I'd already spent pretty much 10 years of being interested and knowing that there was something more to life and something more to the nature of reality than I'd been educated during my time at school. And as soon as I finished school, I, like literally within a week, went to Australia. It's like as far away as I could get from where I'd grown up, knowing that some, there was some search that could be undertaken that would eventually deliver to me the result of a full understanding of the true nature of reality. And that 10 years took me all around the world. It took me many times to India. I'd already been living here in Goa for many years before I met the training. It had led me to participate in lots of various different courses and structures and ideas and things that offered a result. But in my experience, you know, as Toby said before, it gave me a more juicy description of life than the one I'd been given growing up in Birmingham. It was a bit more like, it was a bit more exotic and it had some more like cosmic flavors that connected it all together into like a description that was, you know, somehow better than the one that I'd grown up with, which for some time gave me a little bit of, you know, the sense of like I was going in the right direction. And then, literally, I remember just before meeting the training, I'd come to the point when I just thought, you know, like, this is just not doing it. I'm just going to, I'm just basically going to give it all a rest. And <clears throat> had a friend that was participating in the training in Magic Park, and it was the last open meeting of the season. And I, she went to the open meeting. I just went to pick her up after the open meeting and just been there for a like two minutes, I heard just two or three small conversations between people. And I knew just in those few words that this was the thing that I'd been looking for for my entire life. And the thing that I knew would deliver me the results that everything else until that point had failed to do. So I roused together a rabble of people at the end of the season. <laughs> in Arambol and at that point there was not really there was no balance view structure there was no website there was no no way to really have any information that we have now available to us to understand what it was all about so I got together a group of people we all headed off to Rishikesh uh, got there the day before the 12 empowerment started had a meeting with Jochen it was still all like super confusing that didn't really help what was going on um, and then I just went straight I just went straight in and did this 12 days and from the first open meeting seeing the first video from Candice just knowing in my experience that what was being shared was the ultimate truth the ultimate description and the ultimate support system that would allow me to experience the true nature of reality and you know the 12 empowerments for me was like an incredible thing because not only did I get to see all of my belief systems and structures, how they'd limited me, how some of them had supported me, how some of them had led me to discriminate against certain people, certain sections of society, how these specific belief systems had led to like a, an internalized oppression and suffering within my own life. But what I also saw was that regardless of the specifics of the descriptions, the mechanism was the same for everybody. So I saw where I'd grown up and how I'd been educated and, and how I'd adopted a set of descriptions and internalized those to a point of suffering and then how that was the same for everybody. And in that process, for me, it was just a birth of like a total natural compassion and understanding for a life that's led from reified thinking. And it was just amazing. We were a big group. We were 35 people from all over the world. And, you know, just to see the suffering that we all cause ourselves when we take the things that we believe about ourselves to be totally real. And 
you know for me those 12 days it was like I knew at the end of that that this would be my lifestyle for the rest of my life it wasn't that I experienced exactly what was being spoken about immediately but I knew that if I followed the instructions that were given that the result would become my experience and I saw that just through like even the teachers that taught my 12 empowerments they'd only been involved I think for also a short time like two or three years and I saw in them something that I had never seen before and it was one thing to see Candice, at that point she'd already gone back to California, so it was, just, it was one thing to see Candice on the screen, but then to see other people, real people in front of me, demonstrating qualities and activities that I'd never seen before in anybody in my 28 years of exploring, was just, a, yeah, it was a, it was a life-changing thing. And then to continue participating after that, always seeing these people that had gone before me and never seeing that they came to a point of like no longer evolving no longer showing more demonstration of the results all i saw in the people that went before me and the people that followed the instructions that were given to them was that they were ever more stable ever more shining ever more able to contribute to the benefit of all and for me, that has always been and continues to be the greatest inspiration to just see that there is no destination, there's no end point to the recognition of open intelligence and how those and how that brings about results in an everyday life, in my everyday life. You know, and that's just an amazing thing. And the four mainstays. For me, it's like if you choose that the thing you want to do is educate yourself in the nature of mind, then you just need the right tools to do that. Life is all about the right tools. I have an iPhone, has this little SIM card slot. And if you don't have that little thing to like poke it in there and open the SIM card slot, it's like it's impossible to open it. It's a complete pain in the ass trying to stick all kinds of things in there. But if you've got that little pin, you just pop it in there and the SIM card pops open. And like the four mainstays for me is just the perfect tool. <laughs> it's just the perfect tool to bring about the results that are demonstrated and spoken about here on a daily basis. So I, after 11 years, continue to participate in all of the ways that are suggested to me, follow the instructions to the best of my ability and uh, ever more continue to thrive and flourish.